AI has made tasks like audio transcription easier, quicker, and faster than ever in 2025. In today's transcription battle, we'll be comparing two of the top tools, Google Gemini and OpenAI's Whisper. Let's find out who the better tool is. That being said, let's go engineer some stuff. Before we fully dive in with the awesome transcription battle, let's point out how we'll be testing and what we'll be measuring. So I'm going to be using three pieces of audio, a basic audio piece like the quick brown fox jumped over the fence, a soliloquy from Hamlet, and in a very proud husband moment, a chapter from my wife's unreleased book. For our measurables, we'll be measuring how much time the model takes to transcribe our particular piece of audio to text, and we'll be measuring the accuracy and looking at how many mistakes it makes. I do also briefly want to touch on what hardware I'll be running for the OpenAI Whisper portion of this. I'll be running on my EVGA RTX 3080 Ti with 12 gigabytes of VRAM, RIP EVGA, 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, an AMD 5950X with 16 cores, and two Samsung 990 2 terabyte NVMe drives. To get started with OpenAI's Whisper, we're going to head over to their GitHub page, which is github.com slash OpenAI Whisper. Don't worry, I don't expect you to memorize that. I'll put it down in the description below. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure that we have all the requirements that are going to be needed. There's a nice little white paper here if you want to dive into how it all works. But what we're going to do is we're going to do pip install and we're going to get the latest version of OpenAI Whisper. We also, likewise, are going to want to make sure that we have the FFmpeg library installed. I'll be using my WSL Ubuntu instance, so I'll be following this top line right here. To manage the Python Whisper package, I'll be using UV. If anyone is interested in seeing a tutorial on that, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, I'll be doing a UV init whisper underscore test as my directory for my project. I'll CD to that test project directory. Then I'll make sure we have the FMAPEG library set up. And as we can see, we're installed with the latest version already, which means we're good to go for that dependency. To set up the virtual environment, we're going to install the Whisper package. We'll use VUV VNV, and then we can activate our virtual environment with the source.vnv bin activate command. Run that. And now we're there in our virtual environment, ready to install the Whisper package as needed with UV pip install and the link to the GitHub package in the whisper.git file that will automatically get the latest git tagged version of Whisper. As we can see, it installs very quickly and we're ready to go with Whisper now. To start our transcription process with OpenAI Whisper, we'll paste the command Whisper and then the path to our audio file. We'll hit enter, give it a second or two to run. And we can see it detects the language using the first 30 seconds as English. We can override this if need be, if there was some other language that you wish to use. And there it is, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. For a more complex challenge for Whisper, we're going to be doing the to be or not to be soliloquy from Hamlet that we talked about earlier. So for that, we're going to do Whisper, then the file path. And then after some time, we can see here is the result of the transcription effort. And what we're going to do next is we're going to compare this to the actual text to test the accuracy of the model. Test our side-by-side -side comparison. We use a simple online diff tool, but first let's get the text. We can do cat to be or not to be dot txt. And this will give us the entire output. So we can take this output here and we'll put it in an easy online diff checker. When we look at the comparison of the two texts with the original sonnet being on the left and our transcribed text being on the right, while the formatting is very different and that's being picked up by the diff checker, the real only incorrections are this last couple lines, lines seven and eight, which are incorrect, and that will count against the transcription's accuracy. But other than that, it was pretty accurate. For our final transcription test for OpenAI Whisper, we're going to do Whisper, the path to the audio file that we have that is the book chapter from my wife reading this aloud. This will be the longest test that we have and the most complicated, and it'll be really interesting to see if Whisper can pick up all the nuances and the length of this text and transcribe it accurately. So to do that, let's hit enter and see what happens. Now that our transcription is done, we can go take the, take the text file of this and make sure that we put that into our diff checker to just test how accurate the model really is. So again, we're going to do cat and we're going to do Megan book chapter dot txt and we'll get this entire output that we're going to put into the diff checker now. If you look at our diff checker, we see on the left the original text from the book and right is our transcribed text. And while the layout is a little bit different, we can see the transcription is mostly accurate until we come down here and we see that there's a huge, massive section of the book that the transcription just totally missed for some reason. 
This is really interesting and will definitely count against the model's accuracy, that's for sure. Looking at the full table of our results, we can see that basic audio took 13.3 seconds for a 4 second file, to be or not to be took 37.6 seconds for a 2 minute and 7 second audio file, and we can see for my wife's book chapter it took 110.1 seconds for a 16 minute 10 second piece of audio. Where things really got interesting here was the fact that the transcription accuracy went from 100% accuracy, which it should with the basic audio, to 97.1% accuracy, but then with something as complex as the book, it dropped to 73.7% .7 accuracy. Let's see if Gemini does any better. To start using Google Gemini for our AI audio transcription, we're going to head over to aistudio.google.com. It'll probably prompt you to sign into your Google account. Go ahead and do that. And we're going to want to make sure we select the Gemini 2.5 Pro model for our transcription efforts. After that, we're going to want to make sure our temperature slider is in the middle for now because we don't want to go too creative or too stringent on how our transcriptions are interpreted. For the rest of the sliders, we don't have to worry about those for now. We'll keep those as they are. Now, to actually transcribe our audio, we're going to start with our basic smoke test audio. So to do that, we'll drag over our audio file. Once that's been loaded in, we'll prompt Gemini by saying, please transcribe this audio to text as accurately as possible. And then we can hit run. I'll fast forward a bit through the processing time, but we can see after a very quick time, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. If we expand our result now, we can th see that it took 4.3 seconds to process, 143 tokens, and we can see a detailed prompt that Google Gemini gives back saying what it specifically took into account to make sure our audio transcription was as accurate as possible. Now for something a little more challenging for Gemini, which I expect to do really well on because this is a very well-known speech from a very well-known literary work. We'll be using the same prompt that we used last time, and then if we hit run and wait for it to transcribe the audio as expected, what's really cool is that Gemini instantly recognizes this as the to be or not to be soliloquy from Hamlet, and it gives us our full output of the transcribed text matching the pretty much exact text of the soliloquy, but we'll check if that's an exact match in just one second. Quickly, I do just want to point out that it took 12.8 seconds seconds for this to be processed by Gemini and a little over 4,000 tokens. If we jump over to our diff checker, what we can see now is the accuracy of the translation was actually extremely high in the transcription process. The only words it messed up was doth from the original translation to does and pith and pitch. Considering this is old English and way different than what Google would normally handle for its translation stuff, although I am a bit surprised considering this was probably in this training data. This translates, if we look at our word count, 259 words, so 257 out of 259, that's roughly 99.2% accuracy. I think any of us will take that any day. Jumping back into Google's AI Studio now, we're going to upload the chapter of my wife's book, so this way we can present Gemini with its hardest transcription challenge yet. To keep things accurate, we'll be using the same prompt we used for the other two pieces of audio that we transcribed. We'll give it time to process now and to do the transcription. Pretty quickly it finishes, which is impressive for that size and length of audio, and it uses about 31.5 thousand tokens of use. Oddly enough, the first time I ran this, Gemini didn't tell me how long it took for the transcription process, so I had to rerun it, and it ended up doing it in about 39.5 seconds. When we do our diff comparison here, looking quickly, most of the things that we see the difference between the original text and what Gemini generated is grammatical, few punctuation things, and a few minor minor word misspellings and translations here and there. But that's okay, that we could live with and easily fix. But where things get really bad is at the end, we can see Gemini completely missed this massive section of text here at the end. And then if we come over to our word count, we can see in the beginning, our original one has 5,060 words, and Gemini only picked up 3,740 of those words, which if we do some quick math then is about 73, almost 74% accuracy. Not great for what we want to see for this length of audio transcription, honestly. In our summary table for Gemini, we can see in a basic audio test, we received 100% accuracy. In the to be or not to be test, we did 99.2 accuracy. But things really started to fall apart, unfortunately, and we had a much larger file size and had a much more complex audio, which many more tokens, then the accuracy dropped significantly, and as I said previously, whole portions of that audio were missed. That being said, Gemini made it super easy to get up and running with its cloud-based AI studio, and I'm sure if I prompted to have it fix it, we could do that, but I want to keep the prompts fair. That being said, I would definitely continue to use Gemini in its great 
get going with transcription when you need it fast. OpenAI Whisper versus Google's Gemini. And the winner is, well, like any tool, it depends on what your needs are, what you're trying to do, and the outcome you're looking for. OpenAI Whisper makes for a fantastic tool hosted by yourself that you can run locally anytime, anywhere. And likewise, Google Gemini makes for a great cloud solution that's cheap and affordable and equally as easy to get started with. Which AI transcription tool are you gonna try first? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any questions, let me know as well. I'll be happy to answer to them. As always, I'm Sam the Engineering Man, and I'll catch you all in the next one.